Hello everyone, welcome to our video on acceleration. Uh, so we should probably start with what is acceleration. Um, it's probably a term that you're pretty familiar with. We hear about accelerating all the time. Um, so essentially is speeding up, right? Well, we're going to get a little bit more technical than that. Um, that's, it's not wrong, but we're just going to get a little bit more precise. So acceleration is the change of velocity. Now, it's not always speeding up. Acceleration can actually be slowing down or deceleration. Um, so if you just watch the velocity video, um, this formula is going to look pretty familiar to you. Um, we calculate acceleration by taking the final velocity subtracting the initial velocity and dividing it all by the time. Okay, a lot of similarity between the formulas at this point in time. Now this is where it starts to get a little weird and that's the units. So you may have seen something like this. You have meters per second per second or meters per second squared, okay? Both of these are valid acceleration units. I would recommend doing something more along these lines um, because basically what this boils down to is this is a unit of velocity divided by time, okay? So it's the change of velocity, the Velocity is changing by whatever amount per unit of time. So if we had 5 meters per second per second, that means every one second, the velocity is changing by 5 meters per second. Okay? I know. A little weird. Hard to wrap your head around. That's okay. Going to be doing more work with this in the future. Um... Acceleration can be anything that is a distance divided by a time divided by a time. And you know what? The time doesn't have to be the same. You can have something like miles per hour per second. And this is actually a unit that you would probably see pretty commonly if you were measuring the acceleration of a car. Uh, we measure cars velocity or speed in miles per hour and uh, we don't take hours to accelerate your car usually you know either zero to 60 in however many seconds you're not going to take an hour to get up to speed that would be very painful um so you can actually have a different time unit miles per hour increased every second um the problems we're going to do here uh do not have that we're going to keep our units pretty standard uh, just as we're learning the formula, but uh, not going to say it's not going to come up later. All right, let's dive into the math. A car accelerates from a stop. Okay, so starting at a stop, it goes go zero, right? The stop is zero meters per second. To reach 25 meters per second in five seconds, what was the acceleration? Okay, so A equals, I'm going to take our final velocity, which was 25 meters per second. Subtract our initial velocity, which is zero, in five seconds. 25 over five. Our acceleration is five meters per second. So that means that every second, our velocity increased by five meters per second. Oops. <laughs> Help if I put the correct units. Uh, there we go. Let's try another one. A biker slows from 18 meters per second to a stop, again, zero meters per second, um, in six seconds. Okay, so acceleration equals our final velocity, which was zero, actually, minus our initial velocity, which is 18, divided by our time, six seconds, A equals negative 18 over six, 
A equals negative 3 meters per second per second. Yes, as a matter of fact, your acceleration can be negative if you're decreasing your velocity. So um, it's deceleration if uh, it helps you to think of it like that. Here we go. A train traveling 50 meters per second, that's our start, speeds up to 100 meters per second in 20 seconds. What is the acceleration? Okay. A equals final velocity, 100 meters, oh, not include that, meters per second, you know, minus 50, our initial, divided by 20. Acceleration is 50 over 20. So our acceleration is 2.5 meters per second per second. Double check my math if you would like to. <laughs> means every second the train was speeding up by 2.5 meters per second. Alrighty. Um, I'll, uh, as always, come and see me if you're struggling. Uh, we'll have more practice with this in the future. This is just really the basics of acceleration, and we'll have a graphing video coming around soon. Have a great day, everyone.